Ha. Ah. So this this center, that is what we call the Swadhisthana center, is a center that gives you your future, energy, to think of your future, your planning, which gives you energy to bring forth the manifestation of the physical labor or physical exercise or physical work. This poor center has to work for one work, to convert the fat for the use of the brain. Now if one center which has to do many other things starts doing only one work, all other things are neglected. As a result of that, you develop problems because it has to cater to your liver, to your pancreas, to your kidneys, uh, to your spleen. And once it goes into action for one channelized work, it gets programmed for it. And then it cannot take care of these things. That's how you develop a bad liver, you develop a diabetes, kidney trouble, blood pressures. Also you develop a very serious disease called blood cancer. Now Sahaja Yoga can cure all these troubles. It's only physical, but it can cure even physical troubles because if this center is brought to its normal behavior, if it is made to behave in a very normal way, you can easily cure all such diseases which come out of your over-activity, over-thinking, over-imaginativeness. It's a very dangerous thing to always think about the future. For example, now we are here sitting down, we should be comfortably sitting down and talking to each other. Instead of that, now we are thinking, what am I going to go? do tomorrow or what am I going to do when I go home, how I am going to cook, what am I going to eat or how I am going to take my train. All these futuristic behaviors lead you to a very funny personality. You become so futuristic that you forget the past. I met a gentleman who did, forgot even his own name. He forgot the name of his father, he forgot the name of his mother and also, to the dismay of his wife, her name. And she started crying. She said, now what to do? He's forgotten everything. Now he is in a futuristic area, <laughs> he just knows the future. Then he was to be pushed back again into the center, then gradually he started remembering. Then he told me that he's chairman of one of the councils of a big district place in India. And he said, he was. He said, no, I am. I said, that's good, that's better. Now <laughs> you are in that state where you say, I am. So this is what happens and this is what's going to happen to our societies here, which is very futuristic. So to cut it down, one can try anything. You may try anything, for example, you may show pictures of the past and things like that, but that is not going to bring back the horse. It's running very fast. The only thing that can work it out is the awakening of the Kundalini. When the Kundalini awakens itself, she makes the center enlightened and the center itself resumes its normal shape, its normal behavior and its normal condition. Apart from that, it has got a dynamic power or manifestation, that this one, this center which looks after our attention becomes enlightened and our attention becomes enlightened and the attention which is enlightened becomes dynamic. In the sense now, sitting down here, you can pay attention to anyone, just pay attention, you don't have to do anything. Just pay attention to that person and you can find out on your fingertips what's the matter with the person. Thousands of miles he may be. When Nixon was having trouble, suddenly I don't know. I said, find out about Nixon, how is he? And they said, Ma, he's in a terrible mess. 
Christ has said, your hands will speak. That's the time has come. These hands, which, we, which look so simple, but they are so intricate and so intricately built that the nerve endings are so microscopic that we cannot understand how much they can tell us, how far they can go. When the awakening takes place, you start feeling the vibrations around you, the all-pervading power which you have never felt before. Through these fingertips, these fingertips which we neglect, we misuse them, we use them for wrong things, these fingertips themselves get enlightened and you start feeling them. That's what I said, that you have to get your awareness which is enlightened. It's the awareness which has to manifest. And that's how you start feeling them on your fingers. It's wrong here, it's wrong there. You can see where is the problem. Now all these are related to your centers. These are five, six and seven. Seven on the left and seven on the right. So this is about your emotional side and this is about your right, about your physical and your rational or you can say mental side. So you can make out a person how he is by just knowing whether you are getting heat from that person, whether you are getting burning from that person, whether they are getting numb, whether they are becoming, becoming heavy. And a report is established with the all-pervading power which informs you, get the messages. And the messages are so correct that even if you have ten children who are realized souls, there are many children these days are born as realized souls. We don't understand children these days, but these days there are great children and they are born today because the time has come. This is the time of judgment time. This is the time of resurrection. This is the time about which people have described in all the scriptures. So great people are taking birth. And these children, if you tie them up and <coughs> their eyes and ask them about a person who is sitting, facing them, what's the problem with this person? They will all raise the same finger. All of them will raise the same finger, even if their eyes are tied, even if their backs are towards the person, they can just push back their hands and say, they are so good, children are so good. You see, when they put their fingers in the mouth, we sometimes think, I don't know, Freud, who might call a very half-baked person, he didn't know much about God and life and nothing at all, he was very little bit he knew. He says that this has something to God's sex. He was nothing but a sex point and he wants everybody to be a sex point, not a human being. So this fellow, whatever he may say, but the truth is that it is nothing to do with sex. It is that they feel the heat on their fingers. They actually feel it. And that's how they put it in the mouth. The little, little children I've seen, we have one here who has come from England, uh, from London. There's another one who is from here somewhere. And she, all of these, if you ask them, they will immediately tell, where is the catch? Which chakra is catch? Now, children, you cannot be fooled. They all tell you the same thing, that this is what is happening. So your awareness is enlightened and your hands, which have got the sympathetic uh, endings here, tell you. We can say that now, in our central nervous system, we can feel about others and about ourselves. Now, supposing you are sitting here and I ask you, what's the problem with you? You would say, I don't know what's the problem with me. Yes, I don't know. But I may be able to tell you what's the problem. If you go and see the doctor, he'll say, yes, that's the problem. How do you know? You don't have to go to any examination for all pathological examination where all your teeth are taken out, eyes are taken out and by the time you end up, they tell you, you are the healthiest man. <laughs> you don't have to go to all these horrible things. You don't have to waste any money and uh, try all these uh, frustrating things. Just putting your hands, you will know about 